Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough of this game. So, um, simple golfing. It's going to shoot me a little bit um, right at the beginning. You probably won't have that because um, this is not my first time I've pressed a new game on this single game session. Um, so, anyways, you're going to land in this little divot somehow, or if you're not, just get into it. And just kind of aim your way over, um, not quite, just kind of aim your way over the head of this statue or you could land into the shoulder but um, normally you'll end up like right there now I just kind of want to aim a little more vertically than you think um, not that vertical though um, that jump you know I don't get it every time but it doesn't really matter because there's nothing to lose each time so consistency is not a big deal so this one you can see right here is a very very small white mark just towards the bottom it's actually three a little triangle of them so um uh, let me just trace it out for you so you got this little brown V then you got this little dark um, black a little slash and then you have a much lighter um, one next to it also to its right and then you have these three white dots I want to aim towards the very top one is where I'm gonna aim my mouse right onto and you should make it every time even if you don't, there's something to lose, really, so it's okay. Now, um, from here, you just kind of get into this little divot um, and wait for your ball to come to a stop and kind of aim towards, like, about the middle of this round rock. It's not precise, so don't worry. So right here, there's just this little white shine, and it kind of goes up into a point and intersects with these two rocks. I want to put my mouse right at that point. There's just three different colors intersecting. Now from here, just kind of jump up here. Nothing too precise at all. And then just kind of jump up on here. Make sure you get enough um, distance, horizontal distance, in your aim to actually make it into this divot. If not, um, you might start rolling just a little bit, but still the opportunity to jump. Because if you're going, if you're still moving slow, you will your ball will turn white and you'll be able to jump. So next, there's this little there's this little dot right here, and I want to put it in the center of my circle. Then next, right here, you can see a very big black mark on this rock, and then two little black dots kind of above it. Next to these dots is a little brown mark, and I want to get that brown mark just inside of my circle. And I will every single time very nicely, gracefully slide into this little divot with the rhino horn and um, just kind of make your way into here then we're gonna jump into or just kind of onto this you'll always roll back in so don't aim into this aim over so always overshoot because you'll roll into it so next this is a bit of a um, little bit of a precise shot but I'm gonna aim just at like the very like kind of corner ish it's a bit of a curve but um kind of you know where the corner would be but then just kind of on the curve so um, and you should make it into this now okay so this is where the game gets significantly harder um, and it does not get easier <laughs> so you're gonna have to jump into this this is one of the hardest jumps in the game um, cause it's not really much consistent way to do it just kinda aim towards it and then don't overshoot or undershoot this shot I undershoot it more than I overshoot jump to the next card Kind of pay attention to the parabola you're about to, um, your path you're about to have. And just kind of jump into here. If you overshoot that one right there, don't be afraid to do just a little hop to the left, like mo aiming like vertically and then just a little bit to the left. Um, I've done that plenty of times. Anyway, so now that we're here, I'm going to get my um, left edge of my circle and align it with the inner border of this coin. And then, okay, decently pre pretty vertical jump off of that eraser. Now from here, I'm going to put my mouse cursor, the point of that, at the bottom right um, corner of this one, on the one euro coin. And then I'm going to put, now this time I'm going to put it in the middle of the bottom of the one. And that should get you every time. It looks like it slopes down, but it doesn't. Um, it's it really doesn't just because it looks like it does not mean it does that. 
So now I'm just gonna very carefully hop over to here. And from here, just kind of, you're gonna hit the corn, you wanna hit the corn, and then land into this divot. Now this very tricky jump. Um, so right here, there's two little shines, two little white, little marks I guess you could call them on this apple and um, you want to kind of put it halfway through the bottom one and um, want your mouse to kind of be parallel to down here and um, yeah it's actually not as precise as it looks um, but yeah Anyways, so from here, I'm going to just kind of jump up onto into these chocolates. And then, all right, as soon as you get on the corn, you know, want to make sure you uh, hop up because you're going to start rolling down because it is not flat. It does get a little flatter towards the end here, though. So um, if I drop, if I fall here, I will land back onto the watermelon. So I'm going to aim right into there and um, get into the chocolates and then just kind of aim and um, that is actually the final achievement um, here so I actually don't need to finish the game um, the last achievement for reaching the top in this game pops right here but um, you can just um, you know fall to the ground it doesn't really matter at this point this is a achievement guide not a really full game walkthrough necessarily so um, I only care about the achievements, and I imagine you probably do too if you're playing this crap. So, that is simple golfing, 100%. Uh, all the other achievements, um, you can kind of see the last one pop there. Um, the other ones just will pop along the way. Not necessarily where you think they will, but, um, you know, uh, the, the salt or sugar one is supposed to pop there, but it pops earlier than it's supposed to, and instead, the you have reached the top one pops once you get to the salt shaker. Yeah. Anyways, that's that. I uh, hope this helps.